Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to connect to the NASDAQ FTP server and download the files into our studio. If you copy this link and place it into your web browser, you should have something similar to this. And if I click on Open Finder, I click on Guest and hit Connect. I have now connected to the server and you can see all the files that are within this folder. I'll show you guys how to read these in. And just to point out, we do have some folders here, which I'll show you how to extract the contents for any of these. So for example, if we double click on one of these, we now have a bunch of text files going back to 2005. So in our studio, we're just gonna load up two packages. One is rcurl to read in and connect to the FTP server. And the other package is data table, which we will use to read in some of these large text files. So it's fairly simple. You're just gonna place the URL to the FTP server. We're gonna use get URL using these same parameters. And all this is doing is getting the file names. So here we have printed out all the file names which I have showed you from the Finder tab. And the way you wanna read these in is by using fread. We're gonna use page zero to pull in this URL along with the text file you wanna pull. So for table one and table two, we're gonna use NASDAQ listed and NASDAQ traded. We're gonna separate by these bars and we're gonna set the header equal to true. If we take a look at each of these tables, we see that the first one returned 5,000 entries, which are all the stocks or ETFs listed on NASDAQ. And for table two, we get all the tickers that are actually traded in NASDAQ. So we have a total of 11,000 entries for table two. Now to look inside of the folders, we're gonna use a similar approach. So here in this next block, all we're doing is assign the URL and we're gonna add the path to the folder. So it could be any of these. We're gonna use reg show, extract the file names, and here we have printed out all the file names. So as I pointed out, these go back to 2005. And we're gonna use EFRI to read in the reg show data from December 20th, 2023. And if we take a look at table four, we see that for this category on this day, we had a total of 18 entries. The great thing about using the server is that it looks like it's updated on a daily basis. So here we see that most of these files were updated today. And of course, for each of the folders, you'll get a separate listing for each of the trading days. And I would be cautious about reading some of these in, such as the options data, which seems to be the largest file in here. This will definitely be a great source for market data and the current listing of ticker symbols. But with that guys, this concludes the video. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you could find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.